Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here. Interesting news, uh, UU is no longer a tier on here for the next little bit as they just put in UU suspect, because guess what's being suspected? Hail! Just when I learned how to actually use Hail, by the way, this team is absolutely horrible. I've been using it a little bit. Last night when I was using it, I was just kind of blaming it on maybe I'm tired, maybe I'm just getting hacks, because I was getting a little bit of hacks, but whatever. Uh, no, this team's actually just awful. Uh, <laughs> Mandibuzz is actually really good. Um, it just gets completely smashed by entry hazards, because everyone who abuses entry hazards has a spin blocker, and this thing's kind of useless against spin, but whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. It is good in concept, not good in practice. This thing is horrible in concept, but good in practice, apparently, because I already beat a rain dance team, which I might post eventually. Um, Celio is definitely the weak link here. Which, I, that's kind of, uh, eh, it's a bad set. I have a lot of ice on this team, which I'm probably going to change. And, I mean, it's probably going to be Celio that changes, let's be honest. But, um, I mean, what in UU can I really change it to? I mean, other than a choice scarf from Oxy Hair across. Duh. Uh, just let me find it and add it, and I'll be back in a second. I went by it like three times. What on earth am I doing? So, Moxie, CC, Megahorn, Stone Edge, and it doesn't even matter what the last move in, because it really, really, really doesn't matter because you never use it. Except maybe at the end of the game when you might need Earthquake for some dumb reason. Uh, what else do you get? <laughs> you could use Hidden Power Ice just to scare the crap out of incoming Gligars. Yeah. Be a horrible play, though. He's natural gift ice, except that wouldn't matter at all anyway. I'm gonna use hidden power ice because really the last move means nothing. And um I could be funny and troll some gligars and scare the crap out of them. It won't do anything, but it'll be funny. So, uh to go over the team quickly, we got uh, Snover, and unless they're running rain, and obviously it's really obvious when they're running rain, because you see Kingdra, Tornadus, Blastoise, right off the bat, and, um, normally Bron- Anyway, if they're not running rain, I can just ingrain and leech seed, because I won't have any other weather, and I can just generally be a pain in the butt, and Snow Warning will never go away, and then I have Cryogonal with Blizzard, Rapid Spin, Knock Off, Recover, and I have Glaceon with Blizzard, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power, Grass, and Baton Pass, and I have Heracross with, um, Choice of from Oxy Heracross, and then I have a uh, Siglyph and uh, Mandibuzz that kind of abuse the hail with Overcoat and Magic Guard and stuff, and this thing's really good in hail. And uh, yeah, so let's save the team. Let's find a match, shall we? I'm really starting to like using hail because, um, I don't know, it's a Canadian thing, and I never used to be able to use it. Like, I was honestly horrible with hail. A lot, like, I was horrible with hail. <laughs> And uh, now apparently I found a way to use it. Um, spike, spike, stealth rock, smash, pass to that thing or that thing. So, uh, right, I'm muted. Okay. Anyway, okay, to the battle. Um, as long as he doesn't smash and pass too much, I should be able to get hair out on the field. I can always just whirlwind with Mandibuzz, and, uh, he doesn't have a dark type other than Sharpedo, so, um, yeah, I could set up with that thing. And that thing doesn't really like its team because a lot of physical things, and let's just lead off with Hail. And Celagor's fine. Because I'm just gonna switch out to... I'm gonna Bug Buzz... Neither, both of these are par flying and neither of them resist it, but for different reasons, that's funny. Uh, bug and fighting both resist bug, or do I only two times resist bug? He's not gonna go for an air slash or something, and I would not be able to kill him anyway, so... I could just go into this thing, but he might go for the U-turn, which would actually hurt a ton. Let's go into Cryogonal. If he wants to set up some stuff, I can always just rapid spin. And, uh, that's cool, I can just blizzard you. And uh, Cryogonal actually has a really decent special attack. 
Um, let me find crowd group. There's no way I'm gonna type it out, so I'm just gonna copy paste. And if I don't fail, copy pasting. Boom, uninvested, it's still really high. It's base 95. Um, obviously really high special defense and HP and speed actually is it, it can be used fast as like an attacker and it can also be used as a special wall and i'm using it here as a special wall obviously and a rapid spinner which is awesome and because bug gem boosted power doesn't even do half and i can just rapid spin on whatever wants to come in and if it's gorbis i don't know <laughs> I think if it's Gorbis, I'll switch right out to Mandibuzz. It's pseudo Wudo, and um, uh, I'm just gonna switch out to Mandibuzz, I guess. I mean, Rock Move will still hurt a ton. Maybe I could just Rapid Spin. Should I Rapid Spin or Recover? I don't really see the p need in Rapid Spinning. I mean, it is only one layer of spikes, and do doing doing a bunch of damage to this thing would probably be good. Um. Or he has a dark gem sucker punch, so it doesn't matter because even if I wrap a spun, that's technically still a move. So I should have switched to Mandibuzz there. Um, well, I don't know, he has dark gem. That's kind of random as hell, but I think I can just go to Glaceon and start smashing things with Blizzard. <laughs> Possibly. I could always go to this thing and Psycho Shift. Hmm. I think I'm gonna. No, I'm not because I haven't got the burn yet. You tool bag! Oh my lord! Okay, if I cosmic power, so that his boosted stone edge won't do as much. I'm an idiot. I always forget this thing. Turkey said, "Turn to activate." I am the luckiest little kid in the entire world that it missed because now I'm gonna be able to get off the psycho shift. Holy moly! I should not have gotten away with that. <laughs> Damn. Um, switch to Sharpedo could be kind of good around here eventually. And that was a roosting turn, so let's just switch on out to nothing, because nothing wants to take a stone edge. Hope he doesn't get a crit. A miss works too. And, um, let's just store power for the kill. Okay. Nice that he didn't sucker punch there at the end, and, um, obvious Sharpedo switch is obvious. Because he's seen my entire set now. So he knows that the only move I can hurt him with is Psychic type, and he went out to Ursaring anyway. Okay. Um, Ursaring could probably still do a lot of damage to me, especially because it has guts and I can't burn it. So I could go with the Mandibuzz and just foul play. Um, would I die? Probably not, because he's going to have to crunch on this turn. He's going to have to crunch on this turn. Oh, you're protected. Oh, that's perfect, because he's not going to be able to kill me now with the facade. And I should, if Guts is taken into account, be able to kill the foul play. That didn't even do half. Oh my lord, what is wrong with Mandibuzz? Why is that so good? <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, Facade doesn't even come close to 2 KOing. Guys, why does no one use Mandibuzz? Like, why is Mandibuzz almost then you? I showed that to you at the start of the last video, right? Max defense, max HP, Mandibuzz. It has overcoat, so it doesn't get hurt in weather, and damn, is it good. And this guy's gonna be an idiot. Or no, he's not an idiot, okay. Uh, you can't hurt me, I'm just gonna taunt. Okay, that could be bad, but now that I've taunted, I know he can't do anything else. I should be able to maybe live a Mega Horn and kill him off with a foul play. Stone Edge could hurt a lot. Mega Horn does fifth. Oh, guys, that's disgusting. Uh, do I sack Snover just in an attempt to kill off the Scoiliopede? It might be my best option, to be perfectly honest. Because it'll force his Gorbis to make a turn. Yeah. So, down goes Scoiliopede. And, um, I can just go to Heracross and kill off the last two things with close combat. Sweet. Or I could go to this thing and just kill them off with Specs HP Grass. That could work too. Yeah. Let's do that. Because after I use some Specs HP Grasses... Damn, that thing's powerful. Ugh. Okay. 
Sharpedo. Uh, this could get really bad if he kills me here. Okay, this is really bad. Uh, is Sharpedo faster? It will be after a protect. Oh, damn. Okay, I think I just lost to Sharpedo. I was so close, guys. Unless he misses Hydro Pump, I definitely just lost. Okay, he doesn't have protect. What an idiot. I win. Sweet. <laughs> and, uh, that's GG, but I can't type it here, so... There we go. Yeah. So, um, I like Hill. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna try to fix up this team a little bit. And, no, wait, I already did. I already took out... See, if I had the... If I had the Celio there, I would not have won. Anyway, um, I think... I'm thinking what have we been recording for? 11? Let's squeeze in one more match. Why not? And I don't know why it defaults me to Ben's rain team. But, it's cool. Let's go for one more hail match. And, uh, we'll call that a night. Yeah. And he's running some weird-ass stall thing. To which I'm just gonna say... Screw you. Okay, first off... He can set up all the crap he wants with that, because I can just go into Cryogonal and spin. And on top of that, I can just wall with this thing, because nothing on his team is going to have a weather move at all. That Gligar is so dead, considering I have three ice types, four things with ice moves. And um, let's just get it going. Leech Seed on the first turn. Aqua Ring, sweet. Thanks for even more HP, dude. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to kill this Melodic, so I don't know if using Ingrain is a good idea here. If I had Giga Drain, I would definitely stay in and just sit here and Giga Drain all day. But, I have Blizzard, so I think I'm just going to switch right on out to... Mandibuzz, maybe, and just Whirlwind him out, because I'm not really in the mood for some Aqua Ring shenanigans. Okay, Dragon to sweet, thanks. Basically, this is doing nothing because I your double lefties is cancelled by that thing. So, it's a good thing I went out to Mandibuzz, not Cryogonal, because it would have just taken a Dragon Tail and that would have actually done a crap load because of base like 95 defense, which is worse than Blissey's. And Garbodor, I can laugh at Garbodor because I have Taunt. I think it's going to be faster. If I'm faster, that's just really funny. Oh my lord, I'm faster. <laughs> That's funny. Toxic spikes don't even matter because Cryogonal, not only does Cryogonal levitate, but it also has a really fast rapid spin, so it really doesn't matter. I guess Whirlwind you out, Garbodor. And Garbodor is basically as good as useless in this game. And Muck, you're as good as useless too, because I have Whirlwind and Melodic can go F off. I'm gonna taunt Melodic, and I'm faster than Melodic too. Wow, okay, that did a lot. Hmm. I could go in here and knock off your lefties, but I'm just gonna get smashed with a really powerful dragon tail. If I get hit with a dragon tail now, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. Or if I get frozen, that would have been equally as annoying. But um, leftovers are gone. Basically, is what's happening here. And dragon tail is kind of obvious here. Okay, that still did nothing. I'm really surprised. What is your base defense, sir? I have a defense out of 96. How did that not do more damage? I mean, I know it doesn't have a stellar attacking stat, but my lord, guys. Set up a leech seat on whatever wants to come in. Uh, your aqua ring's kind of useless because hail and then leech. Yeah, whatever. Um, let's go with the cryogonal because you can't do anything. Okay, recover and aqua ring and ice beam. Recover aqua ring, ice beam, and dragon tail. You really can't do anything. Cool. Uh, blizzard? Why not? Bert, hello. Take a blizzard. <laughs> Damn, I did not expect Swampert to come in here. Uh, should I just Blizzard again? Because he can't really do anything unless he's some banded Swampert, which I really don't expect. I just expect him to have Stealth Rock. And I could 
Uh, yeah, he just had Stealth Rock. And basically, this Blizzard should kill. 33, 33, and he's at 34. Yes, it did. And now, whatever one. Sweet, so Swampert's out of the game, and it's Stealth Rock is just gonna get Rapid Spin away this turn on whatever wants to come in. I don't really care if Garbodor wants to come in to set up stuff because I can just wrap a spin in its face and continue rapid spinning and eventually go into Nanda Buzz and stuff. And Muck, I'm just gonna knock off first just to be, be because Muck can get annoying when it curses a lot. Um, I do have Manda Buzz, but I'm just gonna knock off your lefties so that hail actually does start hurting you. And it's basically just damage that you can't recover. And I'm gonna rapid spin now. And I just realized I stayed in a plus one muck. Oh my lord, that would have easily one shot Cryogonal. I'm the luckiest little boy in the entire world that that missed. And I might be able to go out to Mandibuzz now. <laughs> I don't know if I can take two. Well, I am faster. If he poisons me, I'll. Wow. Are you kidding? Okay, so I have nothing for this muck now because I won't be able to whirlwind it out. Um, would Choice Specs Blizzard be able to kill? I hope so. <laughs> I don't think it would, to be perfectly honest. I could get a burn if I stand with this thing, but I'm pretty sure a plus one gunk shot would do an absolute buttload. And I would probably get poisoned, and then I'd end up having to transfer over poison instead of burn. Um... So yeah, that poison there on Mandibuzz actually really, really hurt me. But let's Blizzard and see what damage we can do. He still has that Umbreon, and that's going to be really annoying. And that Melodic's going to be really... Basically, Mandibuzz dying there is horrible. Wow, Spice Glaceon is so powerful. Most Curse Mocks... Hang on, hang on, I have to... Okay, Black and White Mock Analysis brought to you by Smoggin University. The curse set runs max special defense and max HP. Damn! 414 HP. 328. Like, that's really, really specially defensive. And he was at 78%. And Glaceon one shot him. Holy crap. I don't care what you do. You're getting stockpile. Get that shit out of here. Oh god, that did so much damage. That literally did just, that stockpile literally did just enough to let him survive. Well, not literally just, but without that stockpile it would have just been a kill. Because stockpile would be 1.5 or a third or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say, like, would have done half of that, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say, 33% is what he lived with and it's what it would have done. And the switch to Melodic, I want to see how much this does to Melodic. Yeah, it was a crit, but the crit means it would have been a 2 at KO, because he didn't have any boost. So that means it, d double damage means it's a 2 at KO, I'm like, holy mother crap. Oh my god, oh my god, it just died too, everything's dying. Everything is dying, guys. I still have four blizzards left, everything on his team is going to die to this blizzard. Glaceon just swept his team, oh my god. Flaming crap. Glaceon didn't even take a hit. <laughs> Glaceon literally killed five Pokemon on this guy's team. Holy... Wow. Pain's Blue won't help you, you're still dead. Oh my god. And I have Ice Body! Oh my god! I just realized that because I can't... This thing used to get Snow Cloak. Can you believe that? And this thing with NU... Roost. <laughs> Gligar's literally crapping itself at that point. Like, the, that Gligar, that could've killed like four Gligars. Um, I can't say a good game to you, Lord Joe. Uh, it's okay. I'll just go find you. Okay. So. Um. Wow. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.